Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Anakshi Priyam. Uh, I am the CEO of uh, Sanpriya Group, the owners of Konak Suryas, Odisha. Uh, my name is Shrey Gupta. I am one of the directors in the Sanpriya Group and looking after the sports vertical of the company. Okay. Can you introduce me? Uh, like, uh, uh, what you inspired actually the Sanpriya Group to get involved with the MCG? Uh, so Sanpriya Group uh, mainly focuses on development of infrastructure in terms of sports and we are uh, in our like vision plan we are planning to build a multi-sport center of excellence in Odisha that will be the first multi-sport center of uh, excellence in Odisha for not just cricket but many more sports like basketball, rugby, uh, swimming, athlete, a lot of other uh, games and the main vision of the group is to cultivate the local talent uh, from across India and train them to go to international and national level play, uh, games like Commonwealth Games and uh, um, uh, World Champions and all of these types of games. So that's the main vision. What three qualities does your team bring to, to the event? Um, my team as in the Konak Suri Odisha team. Yes, yes. So uh, I think everybody has seen the player uh, the player list. We have the Pathan brothers. That's the one of the most important uh, members. Like they are, they have, they are legendary. So uh, I don't think I have to speak much about their skills. Uh, they have uh, won a lot of um, accredits for our country. So that's one of the unique factors. Then we have Ross Taylor, we have Kevin O'Brien, like a lot of good international players who have won a lot of uh, awards and you know games for their country. So that, uh, under the guidance of our captain, Irfan Sir, we have cultivated a very good team. And we have Rajesh Bishnoi Sir, we have Vinay Kumar. Uh, so I think uh, they're all very talented players and uh, that's why we have reached here. Uh, as and that we have already seen in the game also. So yeah. the first hat trick of LLC came from Konak Surya Odisha's. And uh, every time we see the match is turning into a nail biting moment, we have the players coming in together and making a finishing shot or bowling the last delivery to win the match. So all the teammates are coming together to make this moment a history. Yes, and I think for the last two matches, you can see Irfan Sir have, like, has played a very important role in managing the pressure and taking the team to the winning side. So, yes. Since you are running a business, uh, you are running your own business. Correct. Can you uh, share any specific challenges you faced while in the, in the LLC? Uh, see, uh, in every business there are a lot of challenges and when you're starting a new business there are a lot of things which are unknown so again this is our first season so there are a lot of challenges uh, how to bring the entire team together to be motivated uh, the support staff the the coaches the trainers the physiotherapists so it's a, a lot of stuff behind the scene that not many people the audience do not know they are not aware so there are a lot of challenges however um, in our case, because everybody is so experienced, they have played so many professional games together, um, it was a very smooth ride. Uh, I won't say there were any big challenges that we faced. There was small hiccups like, you know, uh, because uh, the biggest challenge was that we were bringing these games to, you know, tier two cities and cities where, crick you know, people are fan of cricket, but they have not had an opportunity to see matches live. So that was one of the challenges, but I think the experience of every place, whether it is Jodhpur, Surat, Jammu, now Kashmir, the audience have loved us so much that all of these challenges are just like, you know, it's worth it. So. Do you have any plans to have a team in the IPL? See, uh, right now we are uh, trying to be the focus is to win the trophy and uh, if they see opportunities come from left, right and center and the focus of Sanpriya group is to take the sports venture wherever possible. So whether it is IPL, whether it is international uh, leagues also, we are open to all the opportunities. We are not restricting us and whether it is women IPL or women, not just cricket, we are open to a lot of other leagues also, whether it is tennis, hockey. So Sanpriya group has also started investing in hockey. We are, we are part we are participating in the first hockey league of India. So it's going to start in December. So we want to promote a lot of other sports as well. Any, any plans for like uh, any interesting Kashmir like uh, developing the sports infrastructure? 100% see, uh, Sun, one of the biggest ventures of Sanpriya group is real estate. We are into, we are, our uh, real estate uh, um, group is called Asotech Group and we mainly focus in developing tier 2 cities and tier 3 cities, whether it is Gwalior, whether it is Odisha, Bhuvneshwar, whether it is um, um, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, um, Haryana, 
so we have been into lot of places and now that kashmir has and the government has has been established we are very positive that there will be lot of opportunities to develop real estate infrastructure not just residential houses but sports ventures also because we believe that if private investment comes the local talent get, will get you know infused in it and that's where our vision lies so how does it feel like venturing into a space like kashmir how do you see the enthusiasm and how would you see including trying yeah in Do you have plans to include the local youth? Uh, so, to the, yeah. Since you have your scheme goes pan-India, so you said that you have to make a facility set up for that. So how do you basically aim to uplift the local youth? Local youth. See, um, I've been, um, like, personally, I've been invested in Kashmir for a very long time. When my boards got over, uh, I came to Kashmir because I'm very interested in um, nurturing local talent. And I believe Kashmir youth are like they are they're hungry for good opportunities like in any other city of india uh, so kashmir is not an exception it is like it's a it's an area which is untapped uh, like it, uh, how odisha was or other many other states which not many people or the you know other states do not know so i think kashmir is a hidden story and uh, if people like us keep on coming and you know giving opportunities and making uh, the local talent aware that okay these are the opportunities we have uh, center of excellence uh, in odisha you can you know nurture and play tournaments here, and you can enroll there if you play well in your schools and you know local tournaments which are being held by the schools so everything is about awareness so uh, the first the first priority of sanpriya group is to get the kashmir people aware that there are a lot of opportunities waiting and not just for the men but also for the women the youth uh, and not just cricket they are emphasizing on all kind of sports so that is the important message that we want to deliver to the kashmir youth and in addition to that uh, when we say we are focusing on all the sports that is because uh, we are in line with the prime minister's vision of 2036 hosting the olympics in india so today in 2024 we have 12 years so if we nurture the talent right now so we have the heroes ready in 2036 to uh, represent the country and win many more gold medals so that is why we are here to start early to win early can we accept some of the kashmir boys in your team from next year why not why not 100%. that is why we are all here so uh, now llc has um, started the auction theme how uh, on the lines of how ipl works so in auction we uh, try to extract the best players from every place so obviously we uh, we try to get a local odia player we are very keen on uh, involving people youth from <coughs> Uh, jammu or kashmir or jodhpur uh, because surat there are people who are hungry for opportunities so 100% we are like it's we are not biased towards any person like we just want good people to get involved in the games you talked about you said there is a uh, there are so there are many um, companies who run lot of local tournaments between inter schools so uh, one of those uh, we have tied up with one of those uh, companies called r2 sports so what r2 sports does they a uh, whole lot of tournaments between schools local school at a local level district level state level city level and from there they involve the youth uh, and they uh, get uh, get them involved in the interstate uh, competitions whether like you know were um, playing against states and then from there they are nurtured to these multi sport center of excellence where they are trained um, to play in the nation international games so our focus is to make those youth visible in front of those talent coaches and that can only happen if players like r2 comes and plays uh, like holds lot of to- tournaments in these schools so everything starts from the age where you know the children are developing motor skills right from the age of 3 or 4 years so kashmir is a huge potential just uh, yesterday we were in gulmarg and people were still playing cricket it was so cold so uh, the so cricket craze everybody is like cricket crazy and we think that if we promote more sports also uh, and we like you know hold lot of local tournaments i think people are definitely going to get involved in it so how do you aim to play like i said like yeah so the these companies that i mentioned like r2 sports and there are other sports uh, companies who like hold lot of local tournaments with inter school co- tournaments and um, so from there we are trying tying up uh, with them to make them play in kashmir or whether it is in jodhpur whether it is in odisha so we are going to start from odisha and if things work r2 is very good very famous in gujarat so we got them from gujarat to bhubneshwar and from bhubneshwar odisha we will get them to kashmir to uh, jodhpur and other local cities where the talent is hungry